Hi my friends, today we model this part. Having this drawing and uh, coming from my collection of 100 parts. This is the part we model today. We start by creating this contour to apply revolve. New empty document sketch xz plane we draw a polyline starting from here going up left down right down right down once again right down and back to the origin you see that this is uh, placed on the same horizontal with this point and we have vertical and horizontal all the line minus this one let oh no this is of this let me see no it is not we select this line and we make it horizontal then dimensions but let me draw another small line this one and I trim the two ends this is uh, 38 divided by 2 then uh, uh, this is uh, 47 divided by 2 then uh, 65 divided by 2 and this is uh, 60 divided by 2 And this is uh, 50 divided by 2. At the bottom, we also have a diameter here, but we use uh, a radius 49.6 divided by 2. then uh, other dimension this is 4 this distance to here is uh, 16 this is 2 millimeters this angle is uh, 120 divided by 2 and the total distance here is uh, 56 here is a detail one at one on this uh, two lines which means at 45 degrees this is a square one and one are the two dimensions okay let's 
create this detail. We use a polyline starting from this point and back here. <coughs> These two are equal and the angles are 90 degrees or perpendicular also here perpendicular and also here all of them uh, are perpendicular then I place a dimension of one millimeter okay not all were perpendicular I have to select this and this to make perpendicular as well and now let's see what is the problem the problem is that this point must be on the same horizontal with the other one I select one I select two and I apply aligned now you see a green square and we trim this and this we lose a dimension let's see what is that dimension missing we can try to move you see this dimension is missing we also trim this line you see And now that dimension missing it is uh, 50 50 divided by 2 now once again we have to place perpendicular we select this to and perpendicular then equal for this two there are no many dimensions here but many constraints now we have a fully constrained sketch and we apply close and revolve okay now we see here a fillet of radius 3 and two chamfers 0 0.5 and one at 45 good i select this and I apply fillet of two three. I uh, rotate the wheel of the mouse to obtain this new value of three from one. Okay. Then I turn the part. I select this and I apply chamfer of uh, 0 0.5 not 0 but 0 0.5 here is 1 at 45 and 1 is by default 
Okay. We continue with this cut. You see, radius 10.5, radius 10.5, at a distance of 39.5, and an angle of 30 degrees. Good. Okay, and we select this face for a new sketch. Then we take a look here and we place a circle somewhere here with diameter of uh, 10.5 multiplied by 2. We draw a line. to the center and we make this construction line the length is uh, 39.5 and I get out of uh, sketch for a moment because I want to place this somewhere here and double click on the sketch to move this here the angle is 30 fully constrained sketch close and we apply pocket through all okay the other cut is not through all but at five millimeters 16 minus 5 is the distance from up to here the radius is the same okay we select this face for a new sketch once again a circle centered here diameter of 10.5 multiplied by 2 distance to the cent from center to center is also 39.5 close pocket and the distance as I said is 16 minus 5 okay we connect the two cuts by creating a sketch in this xz plane view section and now I rotate this for a while because I have to project this arc this arc and this arc why because I place here from this point to this point it is green close and groove not 360 but only 30 not this direction but this direction reversed okay now you see 
how it looks. Okay. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.